Golf is a precision club and ball sport where competing golfers use various clubs to attempt to hit a ball in various holes on the golf course, but employing the fewest number of strokes. But that's not all that golf is about. We are at the Vodacom Golf Village in Weinberg to find out more about the sport. I'm standing here with Wayne Bradley, who's a PGA pro and golf instructor. How are you doing, Wayne? Yeah, good, thanks. Good. Now, Wayne, tell me, how old do you need to be to be able to play golf? I do. We've got a couple of uh, young kids that, are, that come out and they start to learn. But again, to have fun, four or five years old, you can start just to get some interest up with the kids. Now, is there a difference in the clubs that you use to play golf? Okay, we've basically got, if you look at, we've got a cup, we've got the driver, which is the, the longest and the biggest club in the bag that hits the furthest. Okay. And then you get down to a, a wedge or a sand wedge, which is then the shortest club in the bag, and that obviously gets elevation, gets your height out of it, okay. and doesn't obviously go as far as the driver does. Now, why are there numbers on the different golf clubs? If you look at, say, your, well, take, the, take the three iron and the, and the nine iron, the three iron is obviously going to go the furthest. The pitching wedge or the, the nine iron obviously won't go as far, but it's really just all about distances, how far you hit the ball with each club. Can you tell me why a golf ball has dimples? If we had a, a golf ball that was completely smooth, without any dimples or indentations in it, the ball would just fly all over the place, so, and it wouldn't really get up in the air as well. What this does is a consistent ball flight out of it, and it basically just gets elevation. When watching golf, you always hear birds' names like birdie, albatross and eagle. Can you tell us what that's all about? Okay, we've got 18 holes on a golf course. You've got your par threes, which are the shorter holes, the par fours, which are obviously a little bit longer, and the par fives. In those numbers, you have to get, to make a par, you've got to hit it down in three shots. You've got to get the ball sunk in three shots on a par three, four on a par five, and then five, five on a par five, four on a par four. What happens is if you, on a par three, if you get it in, in two, that's a birdie. So one, one below the actual par of the hole, that would be a birdie. An eagle would come on a par four if you knock it in in two shots instead of the four. And then on a par five, if you knock it in in three shots, that is also that is an eagle. An albatross is if you get it in two on a par five. So that's three, three less than you should be getting. Now, Wayne, can you explain the science behind a swing? It's certainly a, that's a, it's a hugely complex uh, issue in itself, but it just, it just takes so much, so much time to get proficient in it. And it really it is, it's by getting yourself nice and physically fit first, um, and then obviously learning through PGA pros, getting the instruction. And again, it's, there's so many things. The basics in golf are your grip, your stance, your alignment, your posture. So we kind of call that as gasp, as a, as a short term for all of that. But it's really how you stand, how you grip the club, and those are, obviously those basics are hugely important. Understand the basics in the beginning plays a huge role. Now what should everybody out there know about golf? Yeah, golf, it's, it's a relaxation. I mean, so many people get so frustrated out there because they can't get it right, you know, and at the end of the day, it's, yeah, if you're going to start to play golf, get the basics learnt first, you know, then understand some of the rules because the golf clubs are obviously they've all got their rules, so you've got to know the rules of golf. Um, and again, it's just it's about having fun. Now, Wayne, thank you very much for sharing your knowledge with us today. Great. As you can see, golfing is not just an old rich man sport. Everybody can actually get involved and there's actually some technique in smacking this ball. Apparently I'm a natural at this, so Tiger Woods, watch out.